Oh my God, I feel like a million bucks. I c if I describe to you how I'm feeling, it would be 10 times more than that. So it's indescribable, man. I can't, I can't even begin this begin. For real. Three round fight, finish with the arm bar. What's it like for you to pull up a submission victory? Uh, the submission victory, I felt like I was a better uh, jits practitioner than he was. But everybody knows that once you throw punches into the mix, a lot of the technique gets nullified. So I was trying to see if I could work more on the top, uh, more control. But he was just so, uh, in the words of my friend Andy Ogle, he was just so wiggly on the bottom. I couldn't really hold on to him. So uh, I was just trying my best not to posture up and give him enough space to get out. So, you know, pretty much just run the clock a little bit while taking some pop shots. Hopefully he'd give me an opening, and uh, he did, and I ended up capitalizing on it. So I feel real happy about it. How happy are you with your performance overall? Uh, I felt like I could have did better. If you're ever satisfied with what, you, with, what, with what you have done already or your performance, if you're ever satisfied, that's it. You might as well stop what you're doing. So I can, be, I can go in that fight and one hit or quitter him in 30 seconds. And I still think I should have kept my hands up more, maybe did a little more footwork. So never be happy with what you've accomplished because there's always more in the future. Where are you training these days? Are you still down in Florida? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back in Miami. Uh, I've been training with my, my original, my main team, Zen Jiu-Jitsu, um, down in Kendall, Miami, with uh, head coach Enrico Coco. Dude, we're like peas in a pod, man. We do everything together. We train together. We work out together. We hang out together. We teach together. Like, I, he's my coach in jits and striking. I'm his coach in wrestling. I'm doing the fighting right now. He's doing the worlds for jiu-jitsu. And we have our team, and we coach our amateur guys who we're trying to bring up. So, you know, I just love my Zen Jiu-Jitsu team, my coaches, my team. My teammates push me more than anybody this fight, man. I love my teammates to death. Was it uh, difficult at all? Because you had spent a lot of time on Tough Live um, against, yeah, Kofor. So was that, uh, how was that dynamic coming into this fight for you, knowing that you were going to fight someone you spent 16 weeks with last year? It, it, uh, it was, you have no idea how hard it is. Meeting a friend in the cage first off, being having to trade fists with the guy. But not only that, the worst part, punching and kicking and elbowing, that's all the easy part. The worst part is putting yourself in the mental state to where you want to feel like you want to kill your friend. And uh, I'm big on best friends, and I'm big on friendship, and my friends are my family, and Kofor is a friend of mine, and I consider him my family. But uh, just making myself think that he's an enemy was like the hardest thing in the world to do, man. I'm just so happy it's over, and, and uh, we can go back to being pals. You guys gonna maybe go out for a beer, enjoy the strip together, or something like that? I really hope so, man. I love Kofor, Kofor to death. He is a gentleman to the to, to this core, to his core, and uh, and I hope you know we can you know, let this all pass by and we continue being best buds again. And uh, I get to go up and train with him and he can come down and train with me, stay with me, it doesn't matter. We're st he's still gonna be considered one of my best friends and uh, I wanna keep him close. You said you considered yourself the American Wolverine. There was another Wolverine, yeah. who is that? Uh, I'm the Wolverine of the United States and I thought I was pretty much the only Wolverine. And then they showed us, when I was in the house, they showed us the first episode of Tough Live Brazil, I mean Tough Brazil, and I was like, oh, and the Wolverine, and I was like, holy crap, there's another Wolverine. So now he's like, me and him are like, all right, we're the Wolverine twins. So uh, he just finished winning, I just finished winning. I'm gonna try my best to find him as fast as I can to get, take a picture between the Brazil Wolverine, the American Wolverine. And hopefully again, I, I love making friends. I would love to go up there and train, train with him and my friend up there, Cristiano Marcelo. And he can more than happy come down and train with me and we'll have a lot of fun. Mike, where do you wanna go from here? <sighs> my next fight as fast as possible. I want, I don't, I want 2013 to be like, if there's 12 months in the year, I want 15 fights. That's what I want. I want to just continue on and, and, and literally set stone, set in stone my footprint in the UFC. I don't want to ever be forgotten. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you so much, everybody, and thank you to the UFC and all the fans.